Hi, this is Whitney with the Merriam Public Library here with another Tales and Tales Summer Reading Club story time. Now, I'm cheating a little bit this week because most of our tales are going to be animals, but I thought I could sneak in trains because to me, I think a train kind of has a tail ending with a caboose. So I thought trains are so much fun. We're gonna do trains today. What does train start with? Train starts with a T, 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 train. T is also for truck. See here, the train and truck are good friends. And we're gonna start out, we're gonna do a couple rhymes to get moving, and then we'll do a bounce rhyme or two, then we'll read a story, and then we'll play a little game. So let's get started with Hello Friends. You might remember this from before. If not, we're gonna start out with Hello Friends, time to say hello. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. All right, and now we're gonna do the more we get together. I know this is a very popular story time rhyme and finger play. Anytime you use your hands like an itsy bitsy spider, we call that a finger play. So the more we get together, we're gonna do more together, happier, friends. We'll take it slow. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. All right. Oops, I lost a potato. You might ask yourself, what does a potato have to do with a train? And you'll find out later in our fun game. Now we get to the part where we do some of our bounce rhymes with the kids. I love this one. This one is called Jelly in the Bowl, and I'm actually going to use Miss Mousie. Um, whenever I'm using Miss Mousie to do a bounce rhyme, some kids love to be bounced, and even babies, you can very gently do these bounce rhymes with them or touch rhymes. Um, some kids love them, some kids don't, and that's absolutely fine. They can clap along, they can make up their own movements. As long as they're having fun, that's all I care about. All right, we're gonna do jelly in the bowl. We're gonna wiggle. We're gonna do cookies in the tin. We're gonna do candles on the cake, and then you're gonna blow on their neck. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Jelly in the bowl, jelly in the bowl. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly in the bowl. Cookies in the tin, cookies in the tin. Shake them up, shake them up cookies in the tin and then big bounce candles on the cake candles on the cake blow them out blow them out <sighs> candles on the cake some kids ask for these over and over again and they are so much fun to do all right and i have a newer one i don't do this one very often i'm not sure why i really love this it's called wonderful woman and what I usually do is I have my son sit on my lap or next to me. I'm going to put Mousy down for this um, because you can do it with older kids. They can do it to you. You can do it to them. You have them make a fist. There was a wonderful woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, but she knew just what to do. She hugged them. Hmm, 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 hmm. And she kissed them. Mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. And she tucked them into bed. I love you, I love you, is what she said. We used to do that before bedtime. My son would do it to me, I would do it to him. It's just a great bonding exercise and a really great rhyme in general. And now, the fun part, what's in my bag? You already know that today is about trains, but today is about some other animals as well who are gonna come out and see you. So let's see what animals are in my bag today. So I'm going to describe the animal. You're gonna guess what the animal is, 
And then we are going to use this song to talk about what sound the animal makes. This first animal is big and green and stomps around and you might have seen him in a museum. What is this guy? Now this is a very tiny T-Rex. Usually a T-Rex would be huge. This is a T-Rex. What does a T-Rex say? He says, roar. What else starts with a T? Train. Train starts with a T. All right, we're gonna do our song. When T-Rex gets up in the morning. When T-Rex gets up in the morning, he always says hello. When T-Rex gets up in the morning, he always says hello. What does a T-Rex say? Give me your best roar. Roar! And that is what he says. All right, say bye-bye T-Rex, bye-bye. What else do you think might be in my bag today? Now this is an animal that you could find around a pond. This is an animal that can go underwater or above water and he has a hard shell on his back. <gasps> what is he? What is that little guy? <gasps> it's a t -t turtle. Train, T-Rex, turtle. They all start with T. They all start with T. Now, what would a turtle say in the mornings? Do you think he would pop out of his shell like pop? Let's do that. You can make up your own sounds at home. I'm gonna have him pop out of his shell to say hello. When turtle gets up in the morning, she always says hello. When turtle gets up in the morning, she always says hello. What does she say? Pop. And that is what she says. Right, say bye bye turtle. Bye bye turtle. There's one more thing in my bag. Now this thing has a lot of cars attached and lots of wheels. What is this? This is what we're talking about today. This is a train. And what does a train say? Toot, toot. Can you do that too? Toot, toot. All right, let's sing our song. When train gets up in the morning, it always says hello. When train gets up in the morning, it always says hello. What does the train say? Toot, toot. And that is what it says. All right, say bye-bye, train. All right, so we're talking about trains today, and I have some fun songs and rhymes for you. This is called The Little Red Train. This is actually a song. It's kind of long, and this is a great opportunity for kids to get their wheels moving. You can look this up on Jaybrary. You can look this up online too if you want to see more examples of how people do this. There's a little red train going down that track. Look at its wheels go clickety-clack and the train wheels are rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling and the train wheels are rolling. Rolling right along. There's an engine at the front, a caboose in the back. Look at those wheels go clickety-clack and the train wheels are rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling and the train wheels are rolling. Rolling right along. The little train goes to the top of the hill. He goes very slow, but he gets there still. He goes to the top and he goes back down. Look at those wheels go round and round. And the train wheels are rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And the train wheels are rolling. Rolling right along. There's a little red train going down that track. Look at those wheels go clickety-clack. And the train wheels are rolling. Rolling, 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 and the train wheels are rolling, rolling right along. When you get your family doing that, it's a little more fun for the kids because they're making that wheel um, train rolling movement. Get you a little bit of cardio too. Lots of lots of exercise there. And I've got another one here. The Little Puffer Trains. This is done to the tune of Little Rabbit Foo Foo. 
So we count down five, four, three, two, one as we go. So we keep singing it with one fewer train each time. Down, and you can clap with this one. Down by the station early in the morning, five little puffer trains all in a row. See the engine driver turn the little handle. Puff, puff, chuff, chuff, off we go. And then you sing with four, and then three, and then two, and then one each time you sing. I have so many things going on today with trains. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next one because I wanna make sure that we at least touch on all of the fun things we're going to do. I have a couple books that I'm going to read to you. This is Chug Chug Choo Choo Down the Track. It's a big book. First comes the engine with the coal car in back. Box car, flat car, box car again, and last the caboose at the end of the train. So you can see I've laid out the train here kind of in the order. It's not always in this order, but in kind of the order of the different types of cars. There's different cars. There's a coal car, box cars, tank cars, coach cars, and at the end is the caboose. Let's read Steam Train, Dream Train by Sherry Dusky. Through the darkness, clickety-clack, coming, coming closer down the track. Hold your breath so you can hear huffing, chuffing, drawing near. A whistle blares out in the night, a mighty engine, wondrous sight. The smokestack puffs, the big wheels grind, the trusty tenders close behind. Cling, clang, the bell rings out on top, hissing steam, brakes squeal, then stop. The driver signals to the crew, each worker knows just what to do. Quick, before it gets too late, start to load up all the freight. Everything will soon be stowed, a train car matched to every load. The crew slides back the box car doors and tumbles in to start their chores. They whirl, twirl, cartwheel jump, but cargo stowed without a bump. Things that rock and roll and spin are all juggled, all are juggled safely in. The freight is loaded as they play. They work and bounce the night away. Building blocks, erector sets, bikes and kites and model jets. The box cars, box cars made to safely haul almost anything at all. The hopper's top is open wide so cargo can be poured inside. The crew hops to it one and all they get to work and have a ball. Then with a bounce, a pounce, a leap, three boys jump in and fall asleep. Tankers lined up in a row are getting filled with paints to go. Purple, yellow, green, and blue, a color convoy coming through. The reefer car is snug and cold. Its chilly box can safely hold. Frozen treats for every stop, like a rolling ice cream shop. The train car's packed, the crew sits back and chills out with a midnight snack. 10 hard workers lend a hand to fill the gondolas with sand. Sand for castles, moats, and more. Sand for tunnels, sand galore. Stacked up on the auto rack, six race cars for a private track. Rainbow colors, flames, and stripes. Shiny engines, chromy pipes. The auto rack will gently keep these fast, fast cars all fast asleep. The well cars carry giant beasts munching on enormous feasts. 
Brachiosaurus liked the view, while T-Rex gets a bone to chew. The flatbed cars are rolling beds. The weary crew can rest their heads and settle in and tuck in tight. Their work is finished for tonight. The red caboose is last in line. From the lookout, all looks fine. The freight and crew are tucked away. The next stop is another day. A hiss, a jolt, a shift, and sway. Now the journey's underway. The train's departing car by car. The headlight fades into the stars. Puffing, chuffing, out of sight. Steam train, dream train. Shh, good night. What a great story. You know, it's interesting. A lot of the stories about trains just so happen to be great books to read right before bed. And now this one is probably one of my favorite. This is I Love Trains by Philemon Sturges. He has a whole series. I love bugs, I love cars, I love trucks, and I Love Trains is my favorite probably because it can be sung. I also love it because on the inside of the cover you have all of these explanations of what the different cars do. So box cars, tender, flat cars, hopper car, a lot of really good information. All right. So I'm going to sing this one. You don't have to. Um, this isn't anything official that goes with it. I just love the way that it flows. Trains, trains, trains. I like trains. I like trains that hoot and roar as they rumble by my door. First come engines big and strong pulling lots of cars along. Some cars keep things from the rain. Some cars carry trucks or grain or cows or hogs or gas or logs. Some carry steel, some carry scrap, or secret stuff that's under wrap. But the best car's at the end, and as the train goes round the bend, I wave, I'm glad to see the car that carries dad. Trains, 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 I love trains. I love this book. Wonderful book for kids who love trains. All right, and now I have one more game for us to play before we do our big goodbye song. This is called A Peanut Sat on a Railroad Track. And this is where our food comes in. We're gonna start with our friend, the peanut. And I'm actually gonna show you some hand movements to this. A peanut sat on the railroad track. His heart was all a flutter. Right on time came the 509, woo woo! Peanut butter. And this is a great game to do with pick anything, pick anything and put it on the track and see what your little one says comes of it because they will surprise you. So let's try it with a strawberry. A strawberry sat on the railroad track. Its heart was all a flutter. Right on time came the 509. Woo woo! What do you think the strawberry was made into? Strawberry jam. And then you can try it with other things too. Let's try 
our potato. A potato sat on a railroad track. Its heart was all a flutter. Right on time came the 509. Woo woo! What do you think it made? Mashed potatoes. <laughs> it's funny. You wouldn't think um, as a concept. There's a definite point when kids understand that food is made by other things. Um, and they can be so imaginative and they can come up with such wonderful, funny answers to some of these questions. Let's try one more. Let's try one more. Where's my pumpkin? A pumpkin sat on a railroad track. Its heart was all a flutter. Right on time came the 509. Woo woo! What do you think it turned into? Pumpkin pie. <laughs> this is such a great song. So just come up with all kinds of things at home to have sit on the railroad track um, and then turn into other fun food. Like I said, you will be amazed at what your little ones come up with. And now we're going to do a slightly different goodbye song this week. This is the goodbye train. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. The goodbye train is leaving. The goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Toot, toot. I hope to see you all next week with more Tales and Tales Summer Reading Club story times. Bye-bye.